Let's go ahead and break down the Chicago Bears defensive line. What is going on, y'all? Follow Sports Talk back at it with another video talking. Of course, man, I felt here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please do hit the big red subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I drop a new video. So let's take a look here, folks. We got another whiteboard video here for you guys. And I broke down the offensive line for the Bears. Let's do the defensive line. All right, so we're sticking in the trenches here. And here we go. These are the projected starters, right? This is... Uh, Kind of what you would expect right now, but this is not going to be the case. But let's just go with it for right now. Who would be the starters for the Chicago Bears? And this is pre draft, post free agency, right? And so you got at your defensive end spot, left defensive end, Travis Gibson, your D tackles in the interior, Andrew Billings and Justin Jones, and then your right defensive end, Demarcus Walker. So if you guys do remember, Demarcus Walker is the free agent signing. And so is Andrew Billings. Okay? So we have two additions from free agency that are projected to be starters. And again, this is based off of just the depth chart and the players that we have. Okay? What should be the starting defensive line once we are at week one? It should not be this. Okay? This is a very weak unit. I'm sorry. This is worse than the offensive line. I think right now, you know, post free agency pre-draft our weakest unit is our defensive line i mean folks taking a look at this like there is not a single player that i'm like oh yeah we got a stud here i like travis gibson andrew billings is a run stuffing d tackle but like none of these guys are you know you would say star players of that nature and so you really want to lean on obviously the draft coming up i could make this properly you want to lean on the draft that's coming up, right? And you have 10 picks, and you definitely want to go ahead and address the defensive line, and I believe it will be addressed, okay? Look, the Bears, if Ryan Pulse could trade down, and the Bears know that this is the weakest unit that they have. Like, you can go O-line in the first round. You can go D-line, D-line with your two second-round picks, like, straight up. And so I do expect it to be where we go ahead – and we come to a point, uh, you know, where the starters could be, let me write this down here again. The starters could be uh, Travis Gibson I'll keep here, okay? That's fine. Billings I'll keep. But this could be draft pick instead of Justin Jones and draft pick instead of Marcus Walker. And now you switch these guys over to backups, right? And they are perfect rotational pieces. So yeah, I need draft picks to go ahead and take over these two spots. I like the Marcus Walker, but again, uh, more of a rotational piece than a bona fide, legit starting defensive end. And, you know, this could be a top, top, top CC4 pick because we're talking about a second rounder. So this is probably what the Bears' offensive line is going to look like day one. Uh, certainly, you still have some guys post-draft that you can go after. Can I interest anyone in a guy like Yannick Ngakwe? Still out there. Been talking about him for months, it feels like. Um, so what if what if the Bears did that, right? What if, what if you had um, Ngakwe here, right? And then you could still have your draft pick. You could still have Demarcus Walker. Now you got some depth on your D-line. You got some rookies that you can develop and have sit behind. Like this would be much better. All right. So overall, going into the draft, I am basically saying we need to replace Justin Jones. We need to make sure that Demarcus Walker, probably a more rotational piece than the starter, he also isn't like the bona fide legit starter. He can compete for the job and he could win it, but I'm just saying you can't hand it to him. Um, none of these guys you'd say you can hand it to, but I feel comfortable with Andrew Billings at the D-tackle spot. I feel comfortable with Travis Gibson. Um, and then over here, what you really want to do is you want to have that draft pick. Basically have that kind of address there and maybe add that uh, free agent like Yannick Ngakwe. We'll see what happens here, folks, but Overall, pretty weak unit for the defensive line here. 
Um, leaves a lot to be desired, but you really, really hope that in the draft, maybe we get a Tyree Wilson, uh, Miles Murphy, somebody like that to just really add some juice to this pass rush because this unit, pretty weak, man, pretty weak. But yeah, we do have some way here to uh, make some changes. Two of these spots I expect to uh, be completely changed with starters. Travis Gibson and Andrew Billings, kind of my guess is on who they will keep the starting job. But again, it's early. We'll see a draft pick could take their job as well. Right? We could literally, folks, there is a scenario where you could literally have four uh, defensive linemen that all rebuild the entire D-line. It could be draft pick, draft pick, draft pick, draft pick. I don't expect that to happen. You need some veterans in there. But... There is a scenario. There is a non-zero chance to happen. So overall, folks, um, this is what I expect to happen with the defensive line here. The projected defensive line, I would say, is Travis Gibson, Andrew Billings, a draft pick at our interior D tackle spot, and either a free agent signing or a draft pick at our other defensive end spot. So let me know what you guys think, man. Leave a comment down below. Agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.